Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how we can use the webhooks in Pabli subscription billing. So to find the webhook section in Pabli subscription billing account, you have to log in, go on settings and then you'll see webhooks option here and you can click it. Then you have to select the webhook create webhook URL page to add the webhook URL. We have two buttons, you can use any of them. So we'll get started with this. I'll click on this. And here are some details that needs to be filled before getting the webhook event notifications. So we have to select the webhook name. We have to select the product of which we want the notification. Similarly, we have to select the plan and then we have to enter the webhook URL that we get from the other platform. And we have to enter that webhook URL here. And if you want the webhook URL to be protected by basic authentication, then you can enter a username and a password. And you can set webhook, webhook retry frequency. If, if webhook fails to send the event notification, you can set a retry frequency. Then you have to select the events of which you want the notification. So this event of customer delete and customer created is not associated with any product. So if you select this, you are going to be notified about this anyway. And then you have to select the subscription event. If you want the notification for all the subscription, then you can select this. And these events are associated with the products and plans that you select in this section. So if you select this product and you choose these sections like create invoice, so only the invoice created for this particular product will be notified through webhooks. But for now, I'll change this to all products and we'll scroll down. But affiliate sections is also not associated with any product and plan. You're going to be notified about affiliates irrespective of the products and plans that you choose. So we'll get started and we'll see how we can use this webhooks. So for example, I'll be capturing webhook responses for customer create event. So whenever a customer is created in my public subscription billing account, it gets added into this sheet that I've created on Google and we'll see how it can be done with help of webhooks. So I'll be using this integration software called Pabli Connect and I'll open this. So we are on the dashboard of Pabli Connect and I'll click on create workflow and write the workflow's name. PSB customer create events and I'll hit on create. Okay, now we have to select the webhooks for the trigger event and we'll copy this webhook URL and paste it in our Pabli subscription billing account and then we have to write the webhook name. So I'll keep it same as the workflow's name. So we just want to be notified about the customer create event. So we'll untick this as well and we'll go back. Then we have added our webhook URL. Then if I do not wish to protect it with basic authentication, but if you do, you can use a username and password. Then webhook retry frequency is already set. So I'll just untick this and then I have to choose the subscription, but I just want to be notified about customer create events. So I'll select this and save. Our webhook has been successfully added. Now we'll go back to our integration software, Pabli Connect, and we will capture some response to add these data in our Google Sheet. So I'll open my Google Sheet and I want this data of customer create event to be added in my Google Sheet. So their first name, last name and email address will be recorded whenever a customer is created in Pabli subscription billing. So I'll choose the sheet and the action would be add a new row. I'll connect my sheet. And it is done. My sheet is already selected. Then we just have to map out data. Uh, so before mapping out data, we need to capture some response for which we need to create a customer in our Pabli subscription billing account. So I'll just simply go on add customer and add a customer. I'll add my customer's name and we'll save this. So our customer has been successfully created. Now we'll go to back to our Pabli connect and you see that uh, event happened, which is event type is customer create and we'll have other details like the first name, last name and email address. So we'll scroll down and add this in our sheet. So we just have to map out the data that we received from our webhook response and we'll map this the first 
the column is first name then last name email address we have to map this accordingly so first name is gonna be the first name which is Chris in my case and the last name is win and the email address chris at the rate family .com and we'll save and send a test response and it is done we received the response i'll just simply change it to normal colors like white and this is gonna be our response so we'll save the settings and we'll go back and create some more customers to see how this works so we'll create a one more customer to see if our webhook is working or not. So my customer's first name is going to be Esther and the last name is going to be Oak. And the email address is going to be esok at the rate family.com. And I'll save this. Our customer has been successfully created. Now we'll go back to our sheet if, to see if the if they are added in the sheet or not. So yes, you see in the sheet, the customer has been created Esther Oak and the email address is there. Now we'll go back to the webhooks in webhook settings and there is one more section that needs to be highlighted that is webhook events. So whatever webhook events happening in your account are, they are all listed here. So we'll open the event ID to see the details and this is in JSON format. You can copy it and use it if required and we have the details of our customer that has been just created and notified via webhook Esther Oak and the email address is there and creation time is there also if a webhook fails to send a response then you can just simply resend event and the event will be resent and we'll check the sheet again and it has been added, added again manually so if it is required you can resend ev events so this is how you add webhooks in public subscription billing but if you find anything confusing let us know at admin at the rate so we can assist you thanks for watching